Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Getting an early start like this, Mama? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's glorious. Yes, getting an early start like this. You two girls will be the earliest birds at the sale. You ought to have your pick of the worm. What a way to talk, David. Well, I just want you to realize what a sacrifice it is on my part to give you the car mm. for one day. I realize. I also realize that any other man would be very grateful to his wife for her trying to save him a fortune by shopping at sales. Especially since we're going all the way to Westbrook for this sale, and it's only for your farm equipment. Why, thank you, Mama. We're not well, even shopping for ourselves, but for milk buckets and brooms and things. So a little gratitude from you, Mr. Norton, if you please. Mama, you are wonderful, wonderful. I am surrounded this morning. I can see that. Even Mama isn't on my side. Well, Mama and I are blood relatives, so you must forgive her devotion to me, David. It's rather sudden, but I'll try. Oh, good. We're almost at the station. Oh, can't wait to get me on that train, can you? Well, nothing personal. I just don't want to be so late, everything will be bought up. Well, we'll probably be there before the store opens. It's only 8 o'clock. Well, it's not raining. I'd rather wait than be late any day. <laughs> David, now think. Are you sure I've written down everything we need? Mm, I can't think of anything else. Except one thing. Oh, quick, tell me. I want you to drive carefully. Oh, is that all? Yes, that's all. Mm, I knew it was the car you're thinking of. Well, they're not so easy to get these days. Harder than wise, yes, I suppose? much harder. Well, in that case, I'll drive carefully. Now, you heard her, Mother. Oh, goodness, I have no influence on her, David. She says one thing with me and does another with you. Now, just remember that you have Mama in the car, and I am very fond of Mama. Well, that makes you fond of Mama and fond of the car. Are you fond of anything else? Mm, you're very demanding this morning, aren't you, Mrs. Norton? Oh, yes, I am. Well, in that case, I am reasonably fond of you, too. Oh, David, you swept me off my feet with those kind words. Nothing at all. So drive carefully and follow traffic regulations. Mommy, hear how he talks to me? David, mm. I think you'd better say that all over again. I haven't the time, Mrs. Brown. Here we are at the station. Claudia, see how he stops that car. Not one jerk. Now listen, Mama. It's all right for David to talk about my driving. He's a man that's expected of him. But I will accept no insults from you. Besides which, you don't even know how to drive. Oh, oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there's my train. There's David, my train. listen, kiss me. Don't go without kissing me. Uh, you think I could get away with it? Come on, lean up. I'll miss you all day. Well, call me at the office when you get home. Can't wait. So long, Mama. See you tonight. Listen, don't work too hard. E eat a good lunch. Come home early. Goodbye. Oh, Claudia, it's only for a day. Be home tonight. Claudia, what a way to start a car. that sign, Westbrook's in the other direction. We're going the wrong way. Oh, congratulations. Well, there's nothing serious, Mama. Just a minute lost. I just turned the car around and we're there. Why don't you go around the block? Oh, around the block is way out of the way. We're trying to save time. Yes, and my skin, too. Claudia! Hmm? Oh, you drive this car as if you're on a roller coaster. Now, don't look back over your shoulder. Oh, I was just looking behind me to see if there's a car coming have to look behind you, Mama. Well, use that little mirror up there. Mama, I am driving. David uses the little mirror. Well, that's because he wears his collar starched. Now, everything seems to be clear behind me, so as soon as the road gets wide enough... Oh, look, there's uh, a sign that says, no U-turn. Where? Up where? there ahead, on the right. Well, we'll be past it in a second. 
Well, it will still be against the law. Honestly, everybody's afraid of a little law. Laws are for your protection Hmm. and other people's protection from you. Yes, well, I'll remember that. Everybody makes U-turns, law or no law. Then why do they bother putting up signs? Well, sometimes I wonder. I really do. Here we go, Mama. Ring around the rosy. Oh, David should see this. That's all I ask. It's right around. Easy as pie. Claudia. Yeah? That car in front of you, it's, it's backing up. Oh, the dope. Doesn't he use his little mirror? Oh! Uh, well, that did it. Can I open my eyes, Mama? Oh, don't bother now. It's too late. Honestly, don't people look behind them when they're driving? Even I have the sense to do that. Even you. Just wait till I give him a piece of my mind, backing up as if there were nobody else on this road. Well, you're not blaming him. Who else? It's obvious I could see him, so I... Well, here here he comes. Does he look wild? Well, slightly grim. Oh, dear. Men are so righteous. In these matters, they are usually so right. Oh, dear. He's shaking his head as if he didn't believe... Ah. Now he's looking at his rear fender. Claudia, get out and talk to him. He looks sort of... sort of middle-aged, doesn't he? Yes, he does. I bet he's an accountant, Mama. Gray hat and gold-rimmed glasses. He's an accountant. Is he? Goodbye, Mama. Uh, Claudia, uh, just say yes, whatever he says. Oh, uh... Hello there, ma'am. How do you do? Uh, too bad, both our fenders dimpled. Yes, so I see. Uh, strange I didn't notice you behind me. You hmm. must have come right up out of the ditch. Well, not exactly. You didn't get shook up or anything. No, we're fine. And you? Oh, sure, sure, fine, fine. Uh, lucky we're not right in the middle of town. Crowds gather around like flies of honey. <laughs> uh, silly, I always think. Yes, so do I. Well... It looks like we have just about the same amount of trouble done to our cars. My left rear fender and uh, your right front one. Weren't you looking behind you? Sure, I looked behind me before I started backing up, but uh, I didn't see you there then. Well, I didn't materialize out of thin air. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good one. I think we ought to call a policeman. What for? Uh, now, look, ma'am, we can settle this by ourselves. We have about the same amount of trouble. Now, why don't we just go our separate my ways? My husband always says to call a policeman when my car gets run into. Uh, only this isn't that sort of thing at all. Well, look, I... we don't have to call a policeman. Here comes What's one. What's going on here? I wonder how he knew. You pack up? Oh, uh, uh, nothing serious, officer. Just our bump is locked. Oh, yeah? What happened? Who did what to who? Uh, I think, officer, we can just settle this by ourselves. Uh, don't you My think so, ma'am? My husband always told me to get the name of the other man's insurance company. Does this sort of thing happen to you often, ma'am? Of course not. Only once before. Uh, I see. Uh, now, look, lady, take my name and the name of my insurance man, and I'll take yours, and uh, I want to get going. You seem to be in a great hurry. Well, there's no point in fooling around with this thing. My fender's dimpled, and your fender's dimpled, and so what? So? Only that I have to explain to my husband that you ran into me. That's all. So you will please give me the name of your insurance company. Now, 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 wait a minute. I didn't really run into you. Oh, that's not what you said a minute ago. You sneaked up behind me. I find it difficult to believe that anybody could sneak up in a car the size of mine. Now, wait a minute here. I think I'd better step in and get the facts on the case. No, I don't want to make a fuss about it, officer. I just want to get out of here as fast as I can. Well, I don't I... want to make a fuss about it either. But, officer, when I looked around, there was no car behind me. I've been driving all the way down to this avenue, and there was no car behind me at any time. I see. Where were you driving from, lady? Well, I was coming up this street, and then when I got behind this car... He backed up into me. Yes, but which direction were you going? Well, which direction do you think I was going if I was behind this car? You could tell what direction I was going in the same direction. You can tell by just looking at my car he backed up into me. When I looked, you weren't there, ma'am. How long had you been going in that direction, ma'am? Why, ever since I turned around. Turned around, eh? Yes. From where, ma'am? Honestly, everybody's making everything so complicated. I was driving up this street going that way. Uh Uh-huh. Going north, eh? Yes, going north. Mm Mm-hmm. And then, um, my mother decided she wanted to go the other way around, so I turned around. You turned around on the street here? Yes, of course. In other words, you made a U-turn. Look, officer, I'm a busy man. I've got to get going. I don't want to prefer any charges. I just want to move along if, if it's all right with you. Now, just a moment. The little lady wants to get everything straight so she can explain to her husband. 
Right, ma'am? Just want this man to realize that he backed up into me. I realize it, ma'am. I'm standing on my rights as a citizen. Any objections? Not at all, ma'am. You didn't answer my question. You made a U-turn? Well, if you call going in one direction and turning around to go in the other direction, yes, I made a U-turn. But that man backed up into me. You were coming up the street, ma'am, before you made the U-turn? I said that already. And you noticed a sign that said, no U-turn allowed? Oh, that was behind me. Oh, I went past it before I made a U-turn. I see. But you saw the sign. Of course I saw the sign. I am not blind. But you made the U-turn. How many times do I have to tell you? Uh, officer, I just want to get going. Look, I've just got a moment. The little lady is standing on her rights. The little lady has every right to stand on her rights. Thank you. The little lady made a U-turn. And as such... The little lady broke a traffic regulation. The little lady doesn't like being called a little lady. And because she broke a traffic regulation, the little lady's going to get a ticket. I'm going to get a ticket. And he backed up into me. Your rights as a citizen, ma'am, you may accept this ticket. But this is, this is outrageous. I never heard of such a thing. I have, and I'm sorry. I'm going to sue. I'm going to do something. You wait until my husband hears about this. <laughs> yeah, just wait. But he backed up into me. I don't care who backed up into who, lady. You made a U-turn and it's against the law. And he couldn't have backed into you if you hadn't broken a traffic regulation in the first place. Now you, uh, <clears throat> better show me your license. But I'm, I'm outraged. Uh, officer, may I scoot along now? You're not going to prefer charges? Uh, no, no, what's the use? Uh, she's in enough mess. I can have my fender fixed up, so I'll just scoot along. Thanks a lot. Okay, Joe. Goodbye. Now, your license, ma'am. You're not going to let him go just like that. Why, sure. He don't want to stand on his rights as a citizen. Well, besides which, he broke no traffic regulation. Now, your license, ma'am. Here it is, Claudia. Now, go on. Give it to him. Give it to him? Yes. Mama... Are you turning against me, too? I am, indeed. This was going to be a nice little shopping exhibition to a sale. So we cracked up the car and you talked yourself into a ticket. Now, go on, Citizen Norton. Give him your license and stand on your rights. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. When the man of the house announces that he's asked a few folks to drop in this evening, do you groan and wonder what on earth you can serve them? Or do you smile and say, that's fine, and simply put some more Coke on ice? If there's a case of Coca-Cola in the house, there's hospitality on hand. Easy, pleasant, gracious hospitality... For guests of all ages. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment... Think of Coca-Cola, for Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes, and ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. (laughs) 